Hey Gemini, how you guys doing? It's your boy here from Cancer Moon Tarot coming at you guys if you're April 15th through the 30th love tarot reading, okay? Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. If so, let me know down in the comments down below. Keep in mind it's a general read, it may resonate, it may not. If it does, that's amazing. If not, it's not your message. Feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers that we got here on YouTube, okay? Hopefully we can get a message across to somebody who really needs it and we can do something wonderful and help with a beautiful aspect of your life, okay? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. April 15th through the 30th, one last shuffle. Let's take a look and see what's cracking back in between you and whomever you're dealing with in regards to your love life, baby. Ooh. Gemini, energy between you and another person, eight of cups, walking away, and that's okay. At the end of the day, when two people are not on a plane of resonation or when two people just aren't meant for each other uh, anymore, any longer, it's okay to walk away, okay? What we have to understand is vibrational resonance, meaning that what you are aligned with um, may not be what another person is aligned with, okay? We all have different paths in life, and of course we can choose what path we resonate with based off of our feelings, okay, our beliefs, and what we are thinking, but at the end of the day, if two people aren't on the same plane of resonation, they walk away from each other, okay? And that's the energy that I'm seeing overall. Now, in regards to whoever you're dealing with, you may have kids with this person, so um, I am seeing moving into the second half of the month, you may have to deal with, okay, we're not in a relationship anymore, we're not together anymore, excuse me, but we still have children, Therefore, we still have to have that obligation to at least be cordial enough to take care of our kids. Now, that's probably for one or a few Geminis, of course, not for every Gemini, because I know not every Gemini out there is pregnant or has children at all, okay? Moving forward from that, uh, let's get into it, okay? Whoever you're connecting with here, the Empress card, and you as the Queen of Wands, um, it does feel that you and this person do have a lot of love for one another, but at the end of the day, no matter how powerful the love is that you two have for each other, it just isn't enough to keep a relationship going. And with the Queen of Wands here too, Gemini, you really are ready to... To, uh, you know kind of step your foot down and say hey like this is not working out for us and I am really wishing you the best and they're wishing you the best as well but it's time to go that our separate ways and get something different from the universe you know go for different offers go towards different and more various things okay so it's two people that are just saying hey you know we don't resonate anymore and that's okay. And I remember back, because I had to take a look real quick for the April 29 reading, our 2019 reading, uh, it was called Processing Emotions, okay? On how you had to process and let go of somebody. And this is the process here. This is the byproduct of that. Uh, this is you letting go of another individual, and as the other individual is letting go of you on very good terms, and now being ready to reap the blessings of the universe, to move into that new energy, to move into that new space of where you are ready to receive new people, new ideas, new business opportunities, new things in life, okay? Blessings that'll come your way. So it's beautiful overall, okay? So at the end of the day, two souls, they don't resonate. Let's find out why, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over their feelings, your feelings, where energies are aligning, and the outcome for the half or the second half of the month, excuse me, in regards to who you're connecting with. Let's take a look here. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April 15th through the 30th. Let's take a look, okay? Queen of Cups, King of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Judgment. So this person has a lot of messages, okay? God, so many pages. <laughs> um, I feel that who you were connecting with here with the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, um, they were a very giving kind of person. Um, and wow, that's a message for somebody. Gemini, um, whoever needs this message, very spiritual message, uh, very, very sad too. Uh, you may have had a person in your life who just recently passed. Um, it could have been a lover of yours, but if it wasn't a lover, it could have been somebody who was very close to you, someone who was very giving, um, and they were always talking to you, they were always uh, catching up on you and checking up on you. Uh, this person could have always given you gifts or something. Maybe it was like a grandfather or something, I'm not too sure. Um, and it's almost gonna bring tears to my eyes because this person was so passionate and so loving towards you. Um, and like I'm saying, they may resonate right now. They may die, and may have passed on. Okay, keep in mind, I'm not predicting death. I don't predict death. This is something that already happened, okay? Um, which could have happened in April or before April. But this might be a person trying to communicate to you. Um, if someone has recently passed on Gemini, who was dear to you, um, and was the kind of person that was always loving and generous, know that they're with you, okay? Know that they are there with you. Know that they are there as a spirit guide for you, and they will stay in your energy as long as you need them to stay in your energy. Keep in mind that you have the choice to release that person if you would like to release them and have them go with wherever their endeavors may be in their afterlife. But if they are intending to stay here, it is based off of you, and you are allowed to keep communicating with them. But I'm seeing someone guide you here, okay? Wow, that was really sad. Um, so yeah, someone could have, uh, it could have been a maternal parent, it could have been like a parent or like a mom kind of figure for some, um, in which 
of course, walking away might have meant that, okay? So that could have been for a person and that's validation for you that that person is still with you, okay? Um, either way, very sorry for <laughs> getting very emotional here, but uh, Gemini overall, I know that there is probably going to be a lot of Gemini's here that are that are lurk, uh, not looking, but or not lurking. Sorry, but looking for maybe the negative sides about this person you're dealing with. Maybe some Gemini's are here because they had a really rough breakup. But from what I could see about this person, Gemini, there was somebody who really cared about you, and um, they were very serious about you, and they have a lot of love towards you, and they always will have a lot of love towards you. It's just the love isn't the same. You know, it's there's a difference here. It's not about being in love. It's about caring for someone but there's always gonna be a difference between being in love with somebody excuse me and then having love for somebody okay moving forward to your feelings and emotions excuse me Gemini Sun Moon Rising and Venus April 15th through the 30th hello seven of Pentacles so now you're kind of on this road of where you know, now I need to wait yet the moon card. That came out in the pre-shuffle as well. Okay, let's take a look here. So, in the way that you're responding to this, it's bittersweet, okay? And it does feel like for some Gemini, this person might have walked away from you. So I feel like this might have been a person that left you, okay? Instead of you leaving them, although it could be vice versa. So the way that you're responding to this person leaving is that you are upset. And for many of you, you may have waited on this person. Uh, you may have tried the 30 day no contact rule to get them back to you. Um, but I'm seeing that with the moon card to the seven of pentacles, um, this does bring you to a very emotional space where you really care for this person and you know that they really care for you and you would want them back into your life. But overall, from what I'm seeing here, you know that right now, maybe it's best to choose yourself and maybe it's best to choose a different route because you're starting to come from a place of understanding where, hey, at the end of the day, this person loves and cares for me, but they're not in love with me anymore. And you're understanding that aspect. So with the four of swords, totally, you are just allowing this person to be. And now, because you're allowing this person to be, blessings are coming in, okay? When you make peace with what the reality is at the moment, when you become okay with everything, and you realize that everything is okay, because at the end of the day, Aaron Dowdy, everything is okay when you when you become okay with everything. Thank you, that was the line that I wanted. Uh, go watch Aaron Dowdy, he's awesome. But that's the line that I wanted to say. Um, everything is okay when you become okay with everything. So when you become okay with the situation, then everything is gonna unfold in the way that it needs to, okay? So Ace of Pentacles being here, the universe is gonna bring you what you want, but at the end of the day, it's gonna come into a form of a different person. And that's okay as well, all right? Carrying on to where energies are aligning between you and this individual, let's take a look. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April 15th through the 30th. We have the Sun card, the High Priestess. Nice. Uh, this is good energy, guys, because you're moving away from all the bad stuff, okay? I am seeing um, unattachment here happening where um, you are no longer holding on to the negativity you may hold in this person's heart for them leaving you. I'm seeing you releasing that negativity here, Gemini. So if you've had any sort of resentment towards them or any sort of negativity towards them or any sort of negative attachments towards this person, you are releasing that negativity and that negative attachment, which is beautiful, okay? As you are continuing to build and work with yourself, okay? I'm also seeing here, Gemini, many of you guys are becoming more in tune with your spirituality. This is just a side message where you may be um, going through an awakening right now or possibly having an awakening which is beautiful it's a great experience uh, so some of you guys may be awakening spiritually during this month as well um, this person actually could have helped you awaken spiritually okay for some this was a person that was meant to come into your life to actually push you to the spiritual awakening okay now with the Sun card overall you're finding your happiness back because now you're starting to recognize that happiness comes in many forms but the most important form that happiness comes from is within okay not from other people but from within and making peace with things making peace with your reality and making peace with your life and you're choosing happiness overall here at the end of the month okay so not to confuse anybody um and and besides the the passing on message that i had received of course when we're talking about love that doesn't correlate that's just an extra message now when we're talking about love here gemini i'm seeing somebody who is very compassionate towards you somebody who had a lot of love for you and somebody who really cares but the thing is that they just don't feel in love anymore okay and your emotional response to this at first was very difficult to understand um, and it was very difficult for you to let go of them or the attachment of them or the idea of them but now you're starting to make peace here at the end of the month and you're making peace with your past and you're making peace with the reality and the situation that this person just isn't in love and you're saying it's okay and I may be emotional about this but I'm letting this person do what they need to and as you are making peace with the present moment the universe is already aligning you with the next partner that is going to come into your life anyways the universe is aligning you with the next person that you're desiring and who you truly want you know sometimes you think 
that because you are in love with somebody, they are the person that has everything you desire. But usually what naturally happens is, is when you love a person, you disregard the things about them that you actually don't like uh, because you love them, right? So you disregard what are things that they have that you don't desire for them to have um, and you focus on the things that you like. So at the end of the day, because you weren't paying attention to some of those key components that you didn't like about them, you didn't even know. So hence why the universe is going to bring you that perfect pair, that perfect soulmate, and that perfect match. Okay, Gemini? So it's good. We're making peace with our past here, and we're having great energy. As for the overall outcome between you two uh, for the end of the month, let's take a look. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Boom, Knight of Pentacles. It's a slow road to healing, but it's a great road to love because you both are meant to be on two different paths, but it doesn't mean that you both can't be close, okay? So with the Knight of Pentacles all the way to the Knight of Cups, you both are gonna be moving and healing from the situation, taking some time out to really heal, you know, get through the situation, as is the other person. No one's jumping into anything else. And you guys are moving on, you know, your path of love, your path of life, your path of partnership, your seventh house, okay? So between you and this person, you got different paths and you both are going towards them. But I am seeing many of you here still keeping in contact with this person um, and having cordiality, being cordial and talking, and it's beautiful, okay? This may just turn into a wonderful friendship for some people. All right. Now, of course, this reading out here won't resonate to every Gemini, but for the Geminis that needed it, God bless. I hope you guys have a fantastic one. I hope this reading brought you clarity, peace of mind, and a lot of love. And uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. Have a fantastic and awesome rest of your April, and I will see you guys in May 2019, okay? Bye.